before starting the 27th question just a small recommendation from my side that don't try to finish this chapter at one day in one go that is not possible take 10 questions uh, and understand it from here then pick up a book try to do another questions from them so in three four days you should cover this chapter because if your basics of 11th standard are not clear you will not be able to do good in your 12th standard and what i am trying to do in this material is basically clearing your concepts that is very important if your concepts are clear then what you have to do just a debit and a credit so try and clear your concepts first starting with question number 27 material account 2000 and wages account 5000 used in making office furniture but no adjustment made in books now no adjustment has been made means that furniture has not been brought in books and the material and wages which were actually used are for office furniture so we need to account for them this is a simple entry office furniture assert assert account is always debited so office furniture account debit no adjustment has been made so office furniture account debit by 5 plus 2 7000 and material and wages went for this making so 2 material how much 2000 2 wages 5000 5 plus 2 7 a very simple entry Moving on, question number 28, there are three compensatory errors, one error compensating the other, nullifying the effect is known as compensatory error. A, purchase return book overcast by 100. First of all, tell me what is the nature of purchase return, what is the balance, when my purchase account has to be debited, my purchase return has to be credited, has to have a credit balance, right? But it is overcast by 100. Overcast by 100 means to remove this effect. Instead of credit, I will have to debit it by 100 rupees. So, my first entry will be purchase return account debit debit by 100 okay now let's read the second point discount allowed rupees 80 not posted in discount allowed account discount allowed is my indirect expense expense are always debited since i have not done it so i need to do it now debit discount allowed discount allowed account debit by 80 rupees okay now the c part the total of one page of sales book, sales book is important, was carried forward to next pages as rupees 680 instead of 860. Means basically what you have done, the side is correct but you have undercast it. You have undercasted it. So what is the balance of sales? Purchase is debit, sales has to be credit and now you have undercasted it. So you have to add up to the undercasting amount so that you get the correct, correct balance. So two sales. By how much have I undercasted it? 860 it should have been and you have put it as 680. So what is the difference? It is 180. 
and you can also cross check 100 plus 80 debit is equal to 180 credit side.